first at 10, not guilty. A Grand Rapids police officer learning his fate today after being charged for carelessly discharging his weapon during a chase in December of 2021. Body cam video showing tense moments on December 9th, 2021 in Grand Rapids. Officers responding to reports of a car theft, chasing this man, Davion Smith, when suddenly... Why did you shoot her? I tripped. Thankfully, no one was hurt. GRPD officer Gregory Bauer says he tripped and accidentally fired his weapon while chasing Davion alongside other officers. Smith turned out not to be the suspect they were looking for, but did have a similar vehicle. Back in February, Davion shared how that incident changed his life. I'm in fear for my life every day. Every day I walk outside the house, I don't know if it's somebody on the side of the house waiting on me again. Um, like, I, I'm, I'm scared. Officer Bauer was charged with careless discharge of a weapon, facing a maximum sentence of 90 days in jail and a $100 fine. I'm running. I, I felt myself step in the hole and, like, the jarring at the bottom of the hole. That's when my finger slipped off the slide onto the trigger, pulled the trigger. Um, I almost didn't even recognize what had just happened. Like, I know that a shot went off, but my brain was like, I don't, I don't know how that happened. That's how he describes what happened that night. Buchanan County Assistant Prosecutor Felix Tarango questioned the so-called accidental firing of his weapon. You guys have the same information that Bauer had, fair? Yes. You were out there the same amount of time that Bauer was out there, correct? Yes. Okay, same lighting conditions, dark, in other words. Yes. How many times did anybody else's gun go off? Uh, zero. While defense attorney Mark Dodge argued the officer wasn't being reckless or targeting Davion at all. Just because there's a mere accident, just because there's property damage does not mean that there's recklessness, carelessness, or negligence. There's been absolutely no evidence at all that while Officer Bauer is closing in on this individual, when the shot goes off, that his, his hand was anywhere inappropriate. He was properly holding the firearm with one hand, which is allowed. Today, Officer Bauer's fate revealed after a jury took a little more than an hour to reach a verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant, Gregory Adam Bauer, not guilty. Officer Bauer found not guilty of carelessly discharging his weapon. We heard from both the assistant prosecutor and defense attorney following that verdict. I think they took their time. I think they were out for a, a little bit, and I, I think they heard the evidence and they made a determination. So, you know, I, I, I'm not going to second guess the jury. That was a perfect example of, of the beauty of our justice system there when a, a mere allegation is made where looking for the through the entire case, the evidence, expert testimony, because what was ultimately determined is that Officer Bauer did, did nothing inappropriate whatsoever on this occasion. And I'm just relieved for he and his family now that this is over with. Well, as for Davion Smith, he's now suing the Grand Rapids Police Department, the city of Grand Rapids, and Officer Gregory Bauer for $7.5 million to compensate him for mental and physical anguish, loss of enjoyment, and post-traumatic stress. And with the not guilty verdict, what's next for the Grand Rapids police officer? Tonight, Chief Eric Winstrom connecting with Fox 17. He says Officer Gregory Bauer is going to be back out on the streets soon. Our Matt Wickos is talking with the chief about the next steps. Matt? Yeah, Jamie, Chief Eric Winstrom says they're still in the process of an internal review. He says because of the not guilty verdict, they'll expedite the review. The chief says Bauer has done a lot of retraining following his actions back in December. But the uh, firearm training that, that these officers are going through today is extremely robust, taking into account things such as accidental discharge. And Officer Bauer himself has gone through uh, dozens uh, and dozens of hours of retraining to uh, make sure that he's up, up to the, the best possible standards. This accident did happen before Winstrom took the helm at GRPD. He says that Bauer did training before and after he started, including work inside the classroom. In July, Winstrom announced his plans to move the department forward. At his presentation, he announced the sanctity of human life and de-escalations as his top priorities. Davion Smith told Fox 17 back in February that he feared for his life during this whole ordeal. So I asked the chief if there were anything he would like to tell Smith following the verdict. 
Uh, I'm just extremely happy that no one got hurt. The Grand Rapids Police Officers Association is sharing their thoughts tonight, putting out this statement, quote, never a doubt Officer Bauer would be acquitted. What a waste of taxpayer dollars. Way to go, Becker.